give him glory and uh, we thank him for his grace. As uh, there is something about his, his grace. To uh, our Lord Jesus, who is the great head of the church, and to amen, uh, amen, my friend and my brother, amen, uh, the angel of the house, Pastor Gaines, here in his absence, and to all of you, uh, the officers and the members of First Community Antioch Baptist Church, it's good to be here. over all situations. 
Uh, he, he used fifth grade no matter what comes up or who comes up against us, or uh, whether it is the devil and in the town of Gadara, whether it is disease with the woman who has the issue for 12 years, or even if it is death as it was with Jairus's daughter, or even danger as today's text reminds us on the sea of Galilee. Jesus reminds us that though things may appear to be out of control, uh, as long as he is on board, things are always in under his control. Today's text, y'all, the lesson today takes place on the Sea of Galilee. It is the Sea of Galilee where Jesus of time showed himself up and he showed himself uh, out. Y'all remember, if you will, the Sea of Galilee was where uh, the Beatitudes took place, where he went up into a mountain uh, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are that was on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. But it was on Galilee, if you remember, where uh, he called Peter and Andrew to drop their nets, stop catching live fish that uh, would eventually die, and stop catching a uh, dead fish that he would bring back to life uh, again. It, it, it was the Sea of Galilee, y'all remember, if you will, where he told them once again uh, to launch out into the deep for a drought. It, it was it a was Sea of Galilee where uh, the Internal Revenue Service came calling and uh, they didn't have tax money enough. Jesus said unto them, go fishing and in the mouth of the fish you will find enough taxes to supply or to satisfy their tax demand. It was the Sea of Galilee, if you remember, y'all, where he fed 5,000 with a few fish and a few loaves of bread. Uh, it was the Sea of Galilee, y'all remember, if you will, uh, that Jesus now, after he had been crucified, they were fishing again and they saw him on the seashore of the Sea of Galilee making bread. And so it is now here on the Sea of Galilee. He desires to build their faith. And I call them faith builders because uh, to help them learn more about him because, you know, they thought they really knew him. Uh, they, they really thought they knew him. And, and they really thought they knew themselves. But, but to teach them to grow their, their, their faith so that they could come uh, to trust him. Uh, the Bible says now, uh, he says unto them, let us go over uh, to the other side. It has been a long day. It has been a long day. And he's tried to encourage. He's tried to build their, their, their faith. And uh, it's getting late now in the afternoon. And in fact, they haven't had much to eat. And Jesus looks at them and says unto them, come. He commands them, if you will, let us go unto the other, the other side. Let us go unto the other side. That's interesting today because, first of all, y'all, uh, he reminds them that they can't stay where they are. They, they, they want to park there. They want to they stay there. But, but can I tell you here today, the Lord wants you and I to, to move. I, I know you want to stay where you are, but you got to go. You got to, you got to leave. You can't stay there. No, no, no. God wants us to go to the other, to the other side. The, the other side of unfaithfulness to faithfulness. He, he wants us to go from where we are. He wants us to leave from uncommitment to commitment to the other, other side. He wants us to be and go from uh, unsaved to being saved, from unholiness to holiness. He wants us to leave from one side to get to the other side, uh, from unfaithfulness to being faithful, from sorrow to joy. He wants us to go to the other, other side, the other side, from being a weak Christian to being a strong Christian. He wants us to go to the other side. He wants us to go from being in a test to becoming a testimony. He wants us to go to the other side. He wants us to go to the other side. From being, if you will, a borrower to a giver. He wants us 
to go to the other side. And in order to get to the other side, they had to leave the multitude on the same, the same side. Can I suggest to somebody in here today, God wants to bring you to uh, the other side. But in order to get to the other side, you got to leave some folk behind you. you, you got to leave some folk. I discovered y'all don't want to go where God wants to take them. And it's important enough for you and I to remind us, if you want to go where the Lord is leading and where the Lord is guiding, won't you wake somebody up, touch them and tell them you got to leave some folk behind you. That, that's what Abraham had to do. Uh, the Bible says he had to leave them behind. God told them, get out, get from among your kindred, from your family, to a place that I will show you. Leave them behind. Yeah, yeah, some, some folks, some folks don't want to go back. God won't want to take them, so you got to leave them. Notice if you will. He tells them, let us go. Let, let, let us, let us, somebody say, let us go. Let, 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 let us, let us go. Notice, if you will, uh, y'all, that he, he gives them a command, but the command is followed by a, a promise. Let us go. Let, let, that, that, that's interesting because let us go uh, includes all of the disciples and, 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 and Jesus. Uh, you, you know what I've discovered? I that the church is a us, us business. It's, it's a us, it's a us, us, us business. It's a us the business. Uh, I know some of us uh, uh, don't want to be us, but, but, but the church is a, a us business. I don't know how it is up in Gramercy, up in Lutcher, but, but in St. Rose, they talk, when they talk about the church, they talk about y'all, you, you know, what y'all doing over there. But, but this is not a y'all business. It's when the church of mine and tell them, it's a us, 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 baby. We are too meekistic and not enough us is it. The church is a us business. Psalm 95 said, let us sing, let us make a joyful noise come to the Lord. Isaiah said, he said, come, let us reason together and do your sins be a started. I will make them whiter than snow. I heard Peter James and John them say when you took them up on the mountaintop, they said, Lord, it's good for us to be here. When the shepherds came to see this thing that was done in Bethlehem, Jesus the Christ was born. The shepherds said, let us go and see what is done here. It's a us business. The Bible declared we have not a high priest who has been touched with the feeling of our infirmities. So let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we might find help in our hour of need. It's a us business. Seeing that we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin that falls so easily instead of running the race with patience, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Will you touch somebody and tell them this is a us? It's a, it's a, it's a us, it's a, it's a us, us business. He, he saves us, he uses us, he works in us, he works through us, he involves us, but I remind you, it's not about us. It's a, it's a us business because, matter of fact, even though he loves us, he saves us, he works in us, this thing is not about us. It's a, it's a us business. In fact, the only time it's not a us business is when it comes, when it relates to ownership. See, see when it relates to ownership and when it relates to building the church, it's not a us thing. It then becomes an I need and a my thing. You, you know, because he leaves us out. He says, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Just grab somebody by the hand and took them in the face. Tell them, he left you out. Tell them, he left you out too. Because the church is not dependent upon us. It, it, it's ownership. It belongs to Jesus. And I tell folk all the time, if you really won't get in trouble, just next with another man's wife. Now, now, he gives them this command, and the command 
is followed by a, a, a promise. Let us go. Promise to the other other side. Now you 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 you, you might want to obey his command because normally whenever Jesus gives a command, it is always followed by by promise. A whole lot of folk want to command or demand the promise before they can claim claim the promise before they can obey the command. But but you can't claim the promise unless you first of all obey the command. <laughs> the command is the act. Uh, the promise is you will be given. The command is the knock. The, the promise is that it shall be open. The, the command is the seek. Uh, the promise is you shall find. The command is don't you lead to your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways. The promise is he shall direct your past. The promise, the command is if you abide in me and my word abide what you will, and it shall be done unto you. The command is, if my people, the call according to my name, would humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, the promise is, I will hear, and I will heal their land. The command is to wait on the Lord, and be a good college. The promise is, he shall Shadow of that. He don't explain 
they, 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 they sought out. In fact, they was enjoying the cruise. Ah, and, 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 but before they got off, in fact, Mark, Mark, Mark says there, there arose. In, in other words, it seems to be suddenly that, that they were not ready for, that, that they had not expected. Uh, 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 there arose a storm. Now I ain't got time to explain to you. Wish I had time today uh, 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 to tell you that even following Jesus, uh, storms do arise. If you really want to be honest with yourself, some, some of the storms I found out are self-made. You, you know, you know that there are some storms that that you know that we are responsible for. You, you know, uh, uh, because we reap what we sow. Sometimes, sometimes we make them our own. I said, I'll focus. But it ain't really their crosses, it's their crops. Uh, uh, you, you know, that, you know, the trunk of jail, you got some roses and stuff, but the living now, you won't plan to talk. You smoke it and choke it, and, and then you were talking, no, 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 some things are of our own me. But then now, there are, there are some uh, that God will allow. Yeah, yeah, he, he allows, you know, like he'll, he'll, allow you, he'll allow you to go in for the purpose of bringing you out better when, 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 you, when you come out. Is there a witness in this house? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he tells them, you get in there, arise a, a storm. Uh, a storm, a storm, y'all. A storm arose, a storm arose. And, and while, while the disciples, are, they, they've seen some before, because remember, recall, if you will, they are fisher men. Everybody say fisher men. This is not something that a hobby that they did every now and, and then. No, this was their life. Yeah, yeah. They, they did this for for for, for living, and, and now the storm arising while they're trying to keep the boat afloat. The Bible says Jesus is at the hinder part. Yes, 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 yes. He's at the back, yes, yes. And, and he's not even trying to help them keep the boat afloat. He, he's not in the front, but but he's he's in the back. And not only is he in the back, y'all, but uh, he's in the back. Asleep on a pillow, and the disciples immediately think that uh, you are the reason you are. We are following you. You got us in this mess, and you got love enough. You know, you know, you know, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. And here you are, you can care less. Don't you care? Anybody in here feel like the disciples? You know, I, 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 I heard, I heard, I heard them. They walked into my office and they said, "Pastor, I just don't understand. All I'm trying to do is the right thing. I'm obeying orders. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to live right. I'm, I'm trying to do right." Had a young lady walk in my office this morning. She said, "Come She said, "Pastor, I don't understand. I'm trying to get close. I'm trying to do what the Lord said to me. And it look like everything going wrong." Because, because of, of him. Uh, they wake him up and say, don't you care that we, that we perish? But you know, you know, my brothers and my sisters, uh, this morning, before, before you look at him strange, he didn't promise us, uh, no, no, that the boat wouldn't be rocked. No, no, he, he didn't command them, get in the boat. And we're going to the other side. But that problem was in between. Can, 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 I, can I just tell you here? He didn't promise that it was good, that thing was going to be easy. No, he didn't promise them smooth sailing, but he did guarantee them a guarantee of God. Some of us don't want to go through nothing. Can, 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 can I just do like, like, like us folks do? We don't go in nothing. Nothing. We don't want to go in nothing. We don't want to 
we was gonna make it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, 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 didn't, he didn't tell us we wouldn't have no trouble, but, but he did promise that uh, trouble wouldn't last oh, oh, always. He, he didn't say we wouldn't cry, but he did promise that if we cried, it wasn't only going to be for a, a moment. Because weeping would only endure for, for a night, but joy would, would come. He didn't tell us, y'all, that you wouldn't go have no enemies, but he did declare that when your foes and your enemies came up to eat you up, they would stumble and fall. He didn't say no weapons was not going to be formed, but he promised, he guaranteed that the weapons would not, uh, that was formed. life, 
The good news today is you don't have to deal with it all by yourself. Come on, I know, I know, I know that uh, it may seem like he's uninvolved. Uh, but remind yourself that he's in it with you. That's what the Hebrew writer was trying to tell us when he declared, for we have not a high priest who is touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. So he reminds us that's why you and I can come boldly to the throne of grace, that we might find help. And I don't know how you feel about it, but that's what the old folk were trying to, trying to say when they say, if ever was the time we needed the Lord, uh-huh, sure do need him, need him now. It's good to know that, uh, you know, I've discovered that some folk can help, but then they don't want to help. And then there are other folk that want to help, but then they, 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 they can't help. But, but the Hebrew writer says that not only is he uh, willing to help, but the good news that the choir told us this morning is that he's able to heal. Yeah. Fire God is, is an awesome, is an awesome, awesome God. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible says that when they woke him up, he got up and he spoke to the winds and he speaks to the wave and said, you know you're not supposed to be acting like that. Yeah. Behave, behave your, yourself. The winds are laying down and uh, uh, the, the winds hush up in the waters, the waters laid, laid down, y'all. You know, you know, you know, some folk, some folk think that the, uh, uh, the reason why there was a calm was because they went and they woke Jesus up. But I beg for what you hear this morning. No, no, that was not a calm because they woke him up. But the truth of the matter is, y'all, that uh, he had already guaranteed them safe arrival. Uh-huh. On on the other the other side. Uh-huh. And uh, you know, my brothers and my sisters, uh, uh, Jesus looks at them and says, Why? Why why is it that you why why are your hearts struggle? Why why are y'all acting like that? Why behave yourself too? Because you know, why why am I, I, I tried to tell y'all we were gonna get to the other side. Why why are y'all all out of whack? Jesus. 
And they're witnessing this power. Some of us don't believe Jesus. But that believer in here at the different and believing in Jesus. And believing Jesus. Because if you can believe what he's saying, do you hear what I'm saying? You will do what he promised to do.
Let me put our main trust in Him. Let us learn to walk by faith.
again, we want to thank Pastor Vanessa for that powerful message on this morning. Then he bless our hearts on this morning. On the strength of that message from Reverend Vanessa, we have Miss Alania Banks. Would you please stand? Alania accepted Christ into our life and she wanted to be baptized here at Birth Community Angel. I ain't them hood rats from seeing James. I know people lost you.